It's but great. do you think religion should be in schools? Yes. Because I, there I is, no, you think yes? I don't think so. I, I mean, there I is the chepar- separation of church and state. That's Ashton, yeah. why do you say yeah. no? You're, I, I, I believe in the separation of church and state because, That's again, I means. respect everybody's That's not what that means. beliefs. You know, like I, luckily, me and my fiance share the same, you know, beliefs and in, in faith and God. But, but again, growing up, um, I actually didn't go to church growing up. My parents were very much like, I was kind of that crazy kid who would go up and down like the, the aisles and stuff. So we didn't go to church. And I think that helped me a lot with my faith because we would listen to church at home, essentially. Um, my dad would, you know, not preach to us, but, you know, tell us about the Bible. And I think I never lost sight of that versus I have um, family members who've gone to um Catholic schools, right? And now they're at a place where I don't know what happened in the schools, what they were taught, but they they've gone completely opposite from religion. Now they're completely atheists, and and I think you see a lot of that happening with the youth because um, I think ultimately it's up to the family, the parents, to decide. Okay, what do I want to teach my kids versus um, the schooling, the government, etc. Mm-hmm. So that's why I think it should be separate. You brought up the youth, Malik. Pull up this article real quick. So millennials and Gen Z are increasingly disaffiliating from organized religion with 40% categorizing themselves as nuns, not nuns, like not like <laughs> religious nuns. Ca- as nuns, like I got nothing going on, nuns, zero, nada, uh, which means no religious affiliation. Here you go. Americans under 30 don't trust religion or anything else. Um, so this nuns is a term encompassing atheists and agnostics worldwide. So you said that you don't believe on the separation of church and state. Or no, you no, don't no. That I didn't say that. that I said that you guys are like misusing the term. But the the thing about well, what, use it use it the right way. It, it stand by. <laughs> so what you were saying about um, what you were saying about um, that you know it's anecdote that that your experience versus your cousins or whatever. Um, I'll give you an analogy: fat people in the gym. Does that mean the gym doesn't work or that they're not doing the right thing? That it does not mean church. And I'm, I'm not even saying anything about church. We're talking about religion. We're talking about religion in school. We're talking mm-hmm. about faith. And, and going back to what we all keep saying, a blueprint, truth, values, it has to come from something. We have, to, we have to figure out what that is. And if we're saying we love America and you're saying you love the Constitution, mm-hmm. all of that, all the founding... There was a truth. There was a blueprint. Mm -hmm. And that was biblically based in Judeo-Christian values. So I'm not even saying about the church and how you raise the kids and everything like that. It's just that idea of where do your values, where do your morals come from? That's why I think it should be at home. Ladies, ladies, ladies. I've been looking forward to yelling at the ladies for one second. Relax. Just real quick. I want to say something. Everyone's going to get their turn. I swear. Tell me what your religion is and how often you go to your place of worship. Tell me your religion and your place of worship. And be honest. Want to know why? God's watching you. <laughs> okay? Amy, your religion, how often you go to your uh, house was, of worship? I was christened Catholic, but I would just say not really any type of denomination. Uh, Christianity. I mostly just listen to a lot of scriptures at home. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so you uh, don't Sermons, to... sorry. Sermons at Sermons? home. Sermons? Church. I, I mm-hmm. go a couple times per year. I really need to go more, but uh, I watch the sermons live. To okay. okay. Natalia Del Valle? Um, I'm Catholic. I grew up actually in um, a Catholic school. I went to Catholic school. Um, I go to church. I used to go every week, um, and I'm starting to go every week now. I saw you went the other day. Yeah, and oh, my God, can I tell you? So that day I went, I was in a place where I was looking for a new church. I've been going through stuff, so I'm like, I need to go to a place where I know is peace. I'm not being judged. I can go, and I can find that connection. And when I walked in, I'm going to cry. I started to cry because it reminded me of where I came from. It reminded me of a place in turmoil. This is Mm -hmm. a place where you can come. You can have a moment Mm -hmm. and you can reconnect. And I think it should be taught. Mm -hmm. And it's not that Catholicism should be taught there. I think all religions should be taught. And then let them, learning that religion, Mm -hmm. determine what they want to follow and determine what blueprint that they want to abide by. Mm -hmm. But going to a place I, I went, it was crazy. They had violinists. They had this huge choir. It was it was fucking lit. I'm sorry, Jesus. Um, but it was it was, <laughs> it was amazing. It was, so, it was lit. It was lit. Like it oh. was so, church was lit. It was sick. I took a video. Like they were singing like loud music, and it was just like it shook me because mm-hmm. it brought me back Filter to spirit. a place of this is where you come from. Mm-hmm. This is a place you can always come to when you feel any type of way, not be judged, and restart and reset. 
And so church is something that I'm going to be going to weekly. Mm -hmm. um, I would go, I would go weekly. I stopped going for like maybe a month. And just that, not going that month mm -hmm. shook me. I'm like, mm -hmm. you're not in your flow. You're not incorporating God. And because you're not, even if you believe whatever you believe, when you grow up knowing that there's a place that's that peace, that mm -hmm. you, you don't have that judgment, it's such a homey feeling. You're like, I'm home. I don't have to put on anything. I don't have to look anything. I have to come, give myself time, give myself quietness. People don't have no quietness today. Everybody's talk, 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 talk. Music, la, 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 la. Picture, picture, picture. Have a moment. Be silent. Mm. Be with God. Be with your higher power. Be mm. present. And I think going to places like church, you are forced to be present. Um, so it was it was an incredible experience. I, mm. I had such a great time. I went out, I cried on the way to the car. I was like, I'm sorry, God. I should have been here last month. And I <laughs> clap it up for Nat, everybody oh, out there. It was there, such okay? an experience. So. Can we get a little clap, a little That's applause? Amazing. Anyway, I'm proud of you, Nat. Thanks. Um, Do you go mm. to, uh, what what is it? Called? Do I go to Temple? Temple? Temple, yes. You want me to answer this, or you guys want to go first? No, answer it. Okay. Online. So um, I'll give you two quick stories. Thanks. Nat's got the tissues out here. So I'm Jewish. We go to synagogue. Now, when I was young, my mom, who was here today, they used to make me go to temple, right? So I didn't want to go, and I was always a loudmouth kid, and I'm like, shh, shh. And I'm like, shh, shh. Yeah, that was like, yeah, I, I, did, I was like, was I, I went kid. there to socialize. Like, yeah. Hey, shawty. Shocker alert. That's how I ended up being a nightlife pro. What's up, girl? Yeah, how you doing? Yeah. What you doing over there? Praying on them knees? All right, guys. Stop so it. Oh, stop. Adam. Adam. Guys. Adam. Adam. Guys, let's He's relax. a man. It's his He's truth. Man. Let him speak Guys, let's relax truth. here for a second. Okay, We're talking sorry. about praying. Jesus. So Jesus. I Can you see? I did the bar mitzvah thing. I went to, to, by the way, I'll tell you a funny story about my mom in a second. So it wasn't, I, it, it, when you force someone to do something, they're always gonna basically uh, revolt. Mm -hmm. Or like if you go to Catholic school, you better do this. And then I'll believe me, I know a lot of Catholic girls running around in Miami. They, they be bad. Yeah. Some girls be bad. Like, they're getting on their knees not praying, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. But anyway, uh, yeah, I, don't. The, um, I went to Israel for my first time and I basically was like, yeah, I don't think religion's for me. But because of PBD, he's like, I think you need to start going back there every once in a while. I think you mm -hmm. need to get in touch with this. You know, I've been born and raised in Miami in the nightlife scene. It's a lot, so very up. easy to like sleep in on the weekends, on Saturdays right. or on Sundays for church and kind of miss that. And I went a couple months ago and I should go back again. And you talked about silence and just thinking to yourself. And it kind of took me back to my old days. And I was there. I took a selfie because I had this serial pat that I went. But legit, I started like tearing, but mm -hmm. not, not like crying. There was just more like so emotional mm -hmm. that something was happening. And this is before October 7th and everything going on, but getting in touch with whatever that is, yes. I think it's important for you. Because I realize whether you believe in organized religion, don't believe in organized religion, mm -hmm. it's okay to question things. It's okay to have doubts. You should at the very least realize something's bigger than you. Yes. Well, it gives you some purpose, right? It I gives feel you like a for bigger purpose and it gives you a bigger meaning. Now, I will say there wasn't a lot of people there. I was by myself. I was by far and away the youngest person there. Mm -hmm. That's a statement these days. And at the end of the sermon, the, like, the lady that runs the temple comes running over to me and she's like, so what are you doing here? Aww. I'm like, oh, you know, she's like, are you married? Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, she's trying to hook you no. Up with a good and she's Jewish like, girl. you want to be? <laughs> I was like, yeah. And she's like, can I get, do you want to be? I go, if I'm taking a referral, it's not from the 75-year-old lady at Temple. <laughs> but it was me. sweet and it was amazing. And we'll see what that happens. But I'll tell you a quick funny story about my mom and then we'll move on. So my mom, who was here today, it's so funny. My mom's passion in life is singing. Like, all she wants to do is sing. That's it. She joined the temple choir. She joined the choir of Barry University, which is a Catholic university. Mm -hmm. She was singing in a church at one point. That's how much she loves singing. And she's running around our house screaming like, Jesus, I love you. <laughs> Jesus, I love And I'm like, Ma, yeah, we're Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, don't worry about it. Jesus loves you. I was like... <laughs> Okay, like sort of antithetical to Judaism, but that's how much my mom loves singing. So 
anytime you want to go to church, yeah. I'll be there. Jesus. I'll take you. I'll and we'll take go. You. We'll have some fun. <laughs> but I do believe that uh, having some religion and having at least a higher power in your life mm-hmm. is so important in mm-hmm. your life. So what's your religion? How often do you go? You want to go? I want to end with Yo, it. Yo, you want to end it? Oh, okay. okay. I want to reiterate the... Go ahead. So, Wrap it up. So I, I guess being Mexican, my family is uh, raised Catholic, but I would say my immediate family, we lean more towards Christian. Um, I don't go to church. I would like to go to church. I think it's just hard to find a community in a church that I think that I feel like I belong to fully. Um, but yeah, I would say my faith right now is between me and God and Jesus and... You know, and I, I've, it has carried me through a lot of tough times in life, and I, I don't think I would be where I'm at if it wasn't for my faith. So. Respect to you. Janelle, what's your religion? And- so I think, like everybody else here, believing in a higher power is very impactful. I've practiced and studied six different religions. Wow. And I was even atheist for two years of my life. Wow. wow. Yes. And I was brought up Catholic, and um, I ended my journey in Christianity. Mm-hmm. Um, and I go to church, I would say maybe like three times a month. I try to go four times every Sunday. Yeah. It's, you know, I'm not perfect. So, mm-hmm. but I do think that there's something that I have gathered from all the religions I've learned and that they try their, their best to, it's kindness and love, right? So mm-hmm. let's say you don't want to tie yourself to religion, but ultimately that is the foundation of those religions. Mm-hmm. But yeah, religion is very interesting. And the reason why you guys feel that that emotion, um, it's a very metaphysical thing. It's quantum mechanics, mm-hmm. but it's just the spirit of the goodness that's in there, right? Everybody's right. going to heal. Mm-hmm. Everybody's mm-hmm. going for a certain purpose. Um, and that's why you feel that that emotion. Feeling. So mm-hmm. so I know Laura, by the way, beautiful. And I didn't yeah, realize you go to church. Yeah. Before yeah. I end with Laura right here, mm-hmm. Malik, give us your story, bro. Uh, well, I identify as agnostic. I don't openly practice religion uh, consistently like that. Uh, growing up, uh, my grandmother on my mom's side was a Jehovah's Witness, which they're a lot more on the conservative side when it comes mm. to Christianity. So I've, I was uh, taught the, the basics and everything like that. Like weekly, she would call us for Bible studies and things of that sort. So um, I was always uh, raised around the principles of that. But uh, growing up, neither of my parents uh, made us practice religion that way. But we were still taught, like, morals and values and Mm -hmm. how to be an overall great person to society and to others. I love that. I would like to add something. Yeah, go ahead. So back to religion and schools. So when I was uh, a news anchor at this Christian TV station, it was around the time that there was, like, this whole war between in the state of Florida to remove In God We Trust in in the courtroom and in schools Mm -hmm. and i remember that i went to the courtroom to speak um billy corbon was actually like behind me Mm -hmm. um i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with billy corbin yeah he was in miami in miami yeah i grew up he was like right behind me to speak he's the guy the documentarian he made the u he made cocaine cowboys yes yes okay did he do something inappropriate no oh really he was just behind me and my cousin was like oh my god you're right in front of this guy so i i think it's very important that no teachers should not be responsible to teach religion Mm -hmm. but i don't think you should remove from schools and god we because again that is the whole purpose of socialism Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. you cannot become distracted from that because once you remove that it's 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 gradual in the way that they shift Mm -hmm. their agenda you're absolutely right look what they did what's the religion of china look at the religion of china it's the ccp yeah once you You don't notice religion No. The whole, you know, Pat and I talk about this all the time. Religion, the communists, the Marxists, the fascists, they don't want you to have religion mm-hmm. because they, yeah. that allows you to say, sorry, I'm not going to follow your man-made laws mm-hmm. because there's something higher out there. Mm-hmm. Now, some people will take this to extremes right. and not follow any man-made laws or not follow what is basically the established law and order in the world and say, sorry, something higher has dictated this. So there's mm-hmm. some nuance there, but when you remove religion from society, it's dangerous. Look at look at look at um, China. What's going on in the CCP? Yeah, Mrs. Real quick, I, uh, real quick I just love to make one quick remark. I, obviously, we can look at the stats and the data, and it's you know a little bit unsettling, but kind of like an anecdotal experience or observation, and I'm, maybe some of you guys have seen it too. I've seen a lot of people coming back to religion because Me shit too. has been so wow. dark yes. and now, evil yes. and demonic lately. Yes. 
and you know it's the law of polarity right so people are realizing if if it can be this dark and evil and fucked up then what's the opposite of that yeah and i think that that's leading a lot of people home mm -hmm. and that's like the light it's at waking the end them of the like a pendulum yeah. it's, it sways yeah. all the mm -hmm. way to one way for some for everybody to get it like that's not the way and then it's gonna yes. sway the other mm -hmm. way again for it to the equilibrium to reset. Yes. yes reversion to the mean yes definitely padrino take us home here okay we're so, gonna pray with you right now so <laughs> A we need to mocking a lot of mock okay so no i do not think it needs to be in the school because the school needs to teach it meaning the parents do not so that's not what i meant um the parents absolutely have to model it the same way going to church it's it's model behavior mm -hmm. um the way that you should probably uh, eat clean and take care of yourself and you know uh, be financially responsible all of those things are good modeled behavior that a parent should be doing them um so going to church was one of them but but in general, again, your values have to come from something. What is that? Um, you were talking about Marxism and, and that other side of the non-religion. The fact is, Marxism is. It's just what we don't kind of realize is Marxism is Satanism. Like, mm -hmm. it, Marx's, Marx, when he wrote it, it was satanic like that was this is not um Which being extreme is. i'm not being mm -hmm. extreme or anything you can mm -hmm. absolutely look look this up mm -hmm. and the idea of marxism satanism is to break down everything that is true everything that is and by truth i mean creation everything as we know it right from genders to whatever everything yes. that is absolutely established sh turn it all on its head Mm -hmm. That's how you get to China, where it's like that is overtaking everything. Mm -hmm. So the point is, in America, if we said these are our founding principles and that there was Judeo-Christian values, then it's taught in our schools. You don't. That doesn't mean you have to follow it, but that mm -hmm. means this is how this is the the laws of the land. This is our order. This is where our moral compass comes from. Mm -hmm. Is are these values? So it's not that you have to adhere in terms of everybody has to be this religion. That is kind of like the separation. We're not forcing this religion down your throat but it is what is going to guide our mm -hmm. values that we are teaching in the public school system, public school meaning that it is federally funded from the government, meaning government that was established, again, with these values, mm -hmm. all that is what's being dismantled. So I'm not outsourcing um, teaching values and teaching Christianity or teaching your faith to your, kid, to, to your kids to the school. Absolutely not. You need to do that in the home. Mm -hmm. you, you should be doing that primarily in the home. But if it's reinforced eight hours a day, from the public school system. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, yeah, I did go to a private Christian school. All, I have a good foundation. I came out okay. So I think my parents think that was a wise decision. I never had like this extreme stray. Like, because when if it's forced down your throat, I never mm -hmm. felt it was forced. My parents were, this is what's best, but they weren't so strict on me that I felt like I had to rebel. That is, I think, what you're experiencing or what you experience with, you know, the Catholic girl sy sy you know, syndrome thing yeah. that they go. <laughs> now it's a syndrome. You know, Catholic girl Catholic syndrome. Catholic girl syndrome. Well, girls CGS. Gone, girls gone wild kind of situation. I never experienced that. So that wasn't the case for me. But the idea is, in the idea of it being in schools or faith and this idea, if it all, if we're here in the U.S., then that, that should be um, our guiding, our North Star um, where our values come well from. said miss padrino here's what i'll say I'll, I'll end with this uh whether you're agnostic whether you're christian whether you're jewish whether you're muslim whether you're nothing whether you're something whether you're everything i think we can all recognize that everyone needs to have a certain set of morals and values and principles mm -hmm. that guide your life and if it's not religion you're going to get it from something else mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it could be politics it could be um Political affiliation, it could be the LGBT thing, it could be how you identify, mm -hmm. it could be the social justice movement. Something is going to replace religion. Mm -hmm. yes. And here's how I feel about religion. Now listen, I'm a moderate. People tell you know, people get mad at me out there and they say, Oh, you're too far left. I go, I'm a moderate. They people say, Oh, you're too far right. I'm a moderate. I'm a synergist. I want people to get together. I'm not mm -hmm. red, I'm not blue, I'm red, white, and blue here in America today. But not enough religion, mm -hmm. not enough faith. Not enough morals and principles, I think, is a recipe for disaster. Too much religion, mm -hmm. extremism, fundamentalism, sure. jihadism, I think is also a, the wrong approach whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Not everyone's going to agree with how you think politically, socially, anything like that. But having a higher power and recognizing, listen, guys, we didn't create this thing. Something else did, whatever it is. You know, Ariana Grande thinks that man, is, uh, God is a woman. We all know that. Mm -hmm. Someone thinks it's a, it's a, um, 
an old man in the beard with the sky. I've seen every different shade of Jesus is there out there. Yeah. You're not allowed to draw uh, the Prophet Muhammad. So I don't know what that dude looks like these days. <laughs> but I think having a good amount of faith in your life is a good thing. Yeah, and we'll leave it there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you like that one, click right here to watch the full SauceCast. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.